Good morning, everybody. This is Dawn with Scrapbook Sage. I hope you're all doing well today. I have a really fun video I want to share with you. I've got some happy mail. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still recovering from a little bit of a cold, so my voice may be a little bit off, but I finally feel like I can talk and do some videos. So these have been, um, I received this happy mail from Big Mama last night, and I do have a video of me opening it. You can go to my channel and look it up. It is unlisted, but if you go to my channel, you'll probably be able to find it <coughs> um, or request it. I'll be happy to send it to you. But I wanted to go in depth with it a little bit more. And also, I met with Yvette Qualley a couple weeks ago, and we did an exchange of things. And I haven't had a chance to share the items she gave me, and they're just wonderful. So I thought I'd combine this as a happy mail, and um, we'll go from there. I will go through Big Mama's first and then grab Yvette's items. I just want to make sure I don't show the address. So I'm going to set this on over here and then pull everything out. I have seen this before, so I um, don't have that initial surprise. But this is cool. I'm not going to turn it around, but Big Mama has sewn different scrapbook paper onto an envelope and she just made it gorgeous so that was really really cool and then she i'm gonna probably save the best for last but that well it's all pretty amazing but let me see i'm gonna make sure i'm in film yeah i'm still there okay so she made me some cute little ephemera here. Let's see what it is. So Big Mama is a fan of Dear Julie Julie. They've been friends for years and she had, um, she does her videos, so go check her out on YouTube. I love her videos. She's often on Dear Julie Julie's des guest design team because she finishes the challenges that Dear Julie Julie does. And, um, Big Mama's videos are great. She is funny. She shares in detail what she's worked on and the challenge details. She has um, just a huge heart. Oh my goodness, she she really is an amazing woman. So look how cute this is. It's an index card and she's done beadwork on it and it's just a really cute piece of ephemera. It has little, little pins here and buttons. And then these... Look at that folding, oh my goodness. I am not patient to do this. I have friends who do, but I do not have the patience. But look how cute these are, oh my goodness. That is amazing. And she's given me some tickets. Picnic ride ticket, Saucers Kitty Land. Those are amazing too. And then these are Faith based cards and I love it so um, there it's from day spring so on earth peace Luke 2 14 in Christ there is hope and there's the crown and the earth is filled with love oh Lord love is from God and a friend loves at all times okay that that is really 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 sweet <clears throat> There are a couple other things she gave me. Let me go ahead and share these. So look how cute these postcards, these are actually postcards. And I love the way that it's set up because there's a lot of writing space on this side. And this is the address and the return address there. It is so darling. And you know they're vintage. Thoughts of my rocking chair, thinking of you. Time for, for a coffee break and fruitful thoughts. Just, just so darling. So, so darling. And check out these, this music page. It's blue. I love that. And here is normal instructions for primary plants. The Roman Road. These are all older. 11,500 miles of railroad in 13 states. That is awesome. Glacier National Park. Very, very cool. What else? And then there's advertisements on the back. 
Teachers Wanted. This is February 1927. What's on here? We've got a little California Oranges. Wanted Women. Wanted Home Women to Decorate Craftwares. Primary Colors. Free to teachers a complete new textbook covering the California citrus industry. Just mail the coupon below. And it looked like somebody did. Oh, you're fine. My husband's here with me, so you might hear some noise in the background, which is I'm totally fine with. And then normal instructors and primary plans. So cute. Partial content contents for February. You could see the staple was in there. Victor Talking Machine Company. And it has a little doggy on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has a Purity Baker's Coca Cocoa and Sensational $100 Bargain. Money Saving Style Book. Landscape, landscape Architect. Very, very fun. Every Teacher. Food and Health Education. Pathfinder. Typewriter Prices Reduced. Clocks. So all the ads, you know, we love them all, don't we? They're just so beautiful. So thank you, Big Mama. And I don't know if she heard me say this, but I love specialty paper. And she sent me this. It is like a cardstock, a beautiful red sort of linen type of cardstock with gold writing on it. And that was all in just a nice little folder there. I will put these down here as well for a minute. What else do I have here? Oh, right. I want to make sure I don't put it all aside yet because there's some really some special stuff I want to share. Too. Some other special stuff. Okay, and I got this and she... This is a beautiful antique book called The Harp of God. The Harmony of the Ten Primary Bible Teachings. And it is an antique book with some beautiful artwork in it. It is 1928. So it's not quite antique. It's like right on the cusp there. But it has some beautiful pictures in here. And um, just, yeah, just the, I don't know the name of the artwork of that period. That was really popular in books, but it is a stunning little book here. And then when I opened up the package, oh my goodness, I about cried. I didn't, I, but I was very excited. So if you guys have been watching my videos, I've been making digitals using Big Mama's quilt or Mama's quilt from Dear Julie Julie. And so Big Mama sent me some quilt pieces and they are so Stunning. They are so amazing. I, um, I, I'm just over the moon with what she's given me. So I will just show you what is here. I probably will make a digital out of this too. I know that's sort of um, a little bit of a copycat, but I think people would want to use some of these in their journals as much as I love the images that she gave to Dear Julie Julie or the pieces she gave to Dear Julie Julie as well so we all can benefit from how lovely these are so watch out for that but um i am just so amazed like i had bought a sewing machine because i thought i wanted to be a quilter and then i attempted to cut fabric and decided i am not a quilter <laughs> So I can do the messy quilt and make journal covers that way, but this precision work, it, it's it's beyond my capabilities. I still can't cut a straight line, and I cut attempt to cut thousands, hundreds of straight lines every day. So 
If I haven't been able to do it yet, I, I don't know that that's going to happen. Um, I've got some hand and visual issues, so sometimes that can impact that, I guess. But um, anyways, look how cute it is. Just the old, old Dickie, Dickie the Duck. And these are like little, I think they're like um, partridges on with the little pink partridges and the blue gingham there. It's just so adorable. You got this blue vintage vintage floral with the pinstripe and other stripes here just all this old fabric you know it feels old it's been around for ages the cute little florals I'm thinking these are probably 60s prints maybe 50s 60s prints I could be wrong but so so sweet I, I I'm just amazed and then that people can cut these and sew them and it, they can look so amazing. This is cute. It's a gun. The old Amer something. It's an like old little gun there and they made that the center. And then look how pretty. Like I am so matchy matchy. I would have a hard time creating something like this because I am so matchy matchy. I, I, I don't. I can mix things up, but I have to really think to do that. Now, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces there. And um, so thank you, Big Mama. You don't, I, 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 I was surprised beyond measure when um, she gave this to me. And this is more of, this has more of the 70s fabrics in it. And it has old magazine pages or newspaper pages as the base so I thought that was pretty fabulous as well so we may see these around in the near future I'm going to set all this over on another space And then I will just start grabbing from the box that I have down here from Miss Yvette Qualley. Okay, so Yvette lives in the same state as I do, and we are, have become fast friends. We both have been, um, had sold our journals with Lindsay Zanor in her marketplace. Well, Yvette has bought the marketplace, and she is now selling journals that other creators make in her shop on Kofi, which is called Yvette's Junk Journal Shop, and it's spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. I'll put the link below. So I'm one of her suppliers, so I provide supplies to her for the shop for people to purchase. And I also have junk journals there. One of my Dear Julie Julie journals is still there, and I've got a really cool large paper bag journal there that is um, inspired by like vintage um, vintage women and it's green, it's beautiful and it says girls wanna have fun. Or no, it's heck yeah, because we were um, at a retreat last year and that was sort of the phrase that came out of that retreat. So Lindsay, thank you, or not Lindsay, but Yvette, thank you for all these goodies. I've been wanting to play with them for a while but I wanted to show people how, how gracious you were with me. This is some blue lace. So we'll have a lot of fun making things out of that. It's, and it is a good supply here. So this is perfect for winter. It's perfect for nautical and sewing kits and all that good stuff. And then she's also giving me some lovely fabrics too. So this is wonderful that for this time of the year. I've just made a hundred journals, so I'm not quite sure I will be making journals out of these right away. I might, because I like the colors and they're fall, and I, if I need to make a larger journal, I might be able to use these, or get inspired by Mama's quilt and attempt to make, try that quilting thing again with these. I think the fabric here definitely lends to that and they're um, um, match, they would match well or complement each other very well that way. So, 
we are just having a fabric showcase here today. These decks are great, especially living in the Northwest. Nature and outing is really cool. And then this is, I don't know what image this is. I don't know what that is. Is it, is it a seed or, I don't know. Oh, it sort of looks like it's a muffin, like a chocolate muffin with a cherry on top is what it looks like. That's really interesting, that mix up of the flowers and that image there. And that is Westminster Fibers Cupcake. Yeah, medley. Huh. Okay, and then here are some, here is another one. Yeah, we like to get, there's a restaurant that we like to meet up at. It's called um, Las Mar Margaritas, and they have the best green chili. It's nice because I can have like a, a carnivore meal, meal there with her if I want to do that. Or I can cheat because I do cheat sometimes. But look how lovely this is. I like, I've, I've been working on poppies and I'm doing purple inspired journals. So these, the purples might get used this month because I'm working on Dear Julie Julie's purple kits. And I'm also working on some poppy kits and I saw this in the bag and I'm like, oh, that will go with my new um, poppy digital that is on Kofi. I have not been advertising my journals yet. I will get there. I just haven't. I have some listed over at um, Kofi as Scrapbook Sage. You're welcome to go check that out. I've got some freebies there as well. And I'm wanting to build that community a little bit more. I've had my first tips by um, Juju Mama. I will put a link to her um, below. She um, really encouraged me with just saying she liked the digis there. And um, I'm really grateful for our community. So I think I'm going to do a gratitude. I don't know if I'll be able to do every day, but I'm going to try to highlight different artists like today's Big Mama and Dear Julie Julie and Yvette and um, Juju Mama. I'll put in the links below. Um, we're just so grateful for each other because everybody has such great skills and such huge hearts. And um, we learn so much from each other and it is just amazing. Look how cute this is. It is just plants and growing. That is really, these are really, really fun. I know I'm just sort of chatting away, but, um, and I don't have a lot of cottons. Yeah, this is awful. I don't use a lot of cottons. I have a lot of upholstery fabric that I've been using a couple of those books and I'm getting through them. I've torn all the books apart and so everything is now sorted into my bins. I don't know if you guys know me, but I, I organize all my stuff by seasons. So most of this will go into, all these will go into my fall fabric bin because they're all fall. I look at it and I think fall right away, right? Oh look, that's a cute little bird. Very cool. with polka dots. So just the mix up, how cool is this, right? You've got sort of the chandelier and then the floral background and then the purple and the bird. Just that creativity is amazing. And this is great for a pumpkin journal. This is back to school or apple harvest. Um, there is Washington's great for apples and their apple hill in California where I was near was a thing that we always did. And then these would probably go into my spring. This would happily go into either any season, but primarily um, spring and summer. This would go into a summer. This would go into my summer, my summer. And these would probably be either fall or, or summer. So I have a, my largest YouTube video is about how I organize things. And I've got bigger bins and smaller bins. And whenever I see something, I just look at it and I'm like, oh, this reminds me of spring. I want to use it. I put it in my um, spring to use bin. She's also given me some amazing lace. And it's going to be worth the wait, you guys, because... We all know what Yvette is known for. 
So she's gave, she's giving me this great lace. I'm not going to open it up. She's also giving me some really cute, um, we all like our ledger paper. I keep my ledger paper right over here. I'm going to just put that there. And this really cute Hollywood um, lady paper dolls. So that's cute. I have a Hollywood plan journal that, and it is here. I've got a plan for that already. So that's cool. And she didn't know that. She's giving me these great stamps. And, yeah, I've just been overwhelmed by her, too. Tiffany Lamps. So, my husband and I went to Winter Haven on our honeymoon in Florida. And there's the Morris Museum there. And I just, William Morris, I just cried when I went into that museum because you knew the handiwork of Tiffany it was truly creator inspired. Like I looked at the artwork and I knew that God gave this man a very special gift. And I was so overwhelmed. I had to leave the building and come back because I was so enthralled with just the detail and the artwork. My mind, my poor little mind could not take in just the true glory of the gift that he had been given with his art. And I love how God just uses people to express beautiful things. And um, obviously, our we see God's beauty around us every day. But when you know people ha are gifted with a certain talent, and they share it with others, and you get to be a part of that process, I think that's what draws us all to junk journals and, and who we are and all that good jazz. So... Then there, then there's these. <laughs> uh, we did a trade. She gave me um, these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, tassels that she makes. So we all know that Yvette makes does beautiful beadwork, and I can play with just her beadwork all day long. We all love them on our on our journals. And we did a trade. For, she gave me uh, three of them, and then I traded her some other things for these. But aren't they just so sweet and special? I I just, these are my, some of my favorite. She's got all my favorite colors here. I Everything's my favorite. I don't think I am very discerning when it comes to things. I definitely like pinks and teals a lot. So, and this is, has some greens in it, has some antique pieces in here. So you guys will be seeing some of these on some journals in the near future as well. I'll just leave those there as I open up the last batch. So needless to say, I am beyond blessed and I'm grateful for the lovely people that this community has brought into my life and let me just sure to share my life. These are co-workers in the sense that we collaborate together and share inspiration and get to work with each other's um, digital kits and supplies and all that fun jazz. So if you want to be inspired by more amazing artists, go ahead and stay tuned this month. In November, I will be doing... Um, gratitude call outs to all the artists I love to use or watch or who I've gotten inspired by and I hope you'll join me for those and I will um, say goodbye for now but you guys have a wonderful Saturday afternoon and I will talk to you later bye bye